Hey guys, welcome back for another bath bomb demo. Okay, so tonight I have one from Rock and Oil, and this one is really, really cool. It's a totally different and unique shape. It's just a perfect square. It's really angular, and it's got a lot of silver shimmer on top, and it's also got a really unique scent. It is scented in Huckleberry, and to me what this smells like is a combination of blueberry and grape, and it's a little more on the grape side is what this huckleberry scent smells like to me. So I think this is gonna put on a really pretty show from what I can tell on the Rock and Roll Instagram page. And I just, I love the shape. I think the scent is really different and I love the color, the shimmer. I just, I think I'm gonna love everything about this. So let's go ahead and put it in the water without Further ado, and see what it can do. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I mean, first of all, the color of the water, but the pattern on that is so awesome. I love it. Now, the ones I've done of hers so far are just, I love them. They're just different and just everything about them is just stellar. Just all the things that I'm looking for in a bath bomb just to be nice and good and successful and just a positive experience. Just, they're all there. All the elements are there. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow. So she's also got a couple other of these, um, this kind, this style. She's got a green one and I think a red and white one in their different scents, but they look like this. I'm gonna back up a little so we can see, so I can even see what it looks like a little further away. I love it. And it smells good too. It's really it's strong. I can still smell it all the way up here. And it does it does have a grape scent. From what I can tell right now. This bath bomb is actually um, I think the one that caught my eye initially on her Instagram page that um, led me to find the other ones that I have um, gotten and demoed so far. It's just so pretty. I am just really trying not to fall in my tub and drop my phone right now, so sorry that there's no more commentary than this. Okay, so before we check out this watercolor, which, oh my gosh, is really about my very favorite color in the world, let's look at this pattern. I love when bombs make this kind of pattern. There's another company, and you guys probably, if you've seen a lot of my videos, know which company 
Um, their bombs make a lot of these patterns after they kind of go off and fizz out. Um, but I think it's just so, so cool because even when it's done, you still kind of have something really pretty to look at. So, so cool. Okay. That pattern is just absolutely gorgeous. And the color is just, it's everything. Okay, so let's go down and look at the watercolor. Okay. So the watercolor is a gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise. It looks like, like, the really deep part of the ocean. Like if you're kind of shallow or you're snorkeling or whatever and you see the different shades in the ocean and you look out as far as you can see and that's the color that you see as far as you can look. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I think it's picking up. I think it is. It's, if I could have ordered up a, a color, a perfect color, this would probably be it. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let's check out the bubbles. give me bubbles too. I have such a terrible memory. That's why I make I make so many notes, you guys. And it's got bubbles. Like, yeah, like I said earlier, I think hers have just always kind of had everything I, I look for in a bath bomb. They're creative and unique. They have the show. They float. They have the bubbles, the watercolor, the scent. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So if you haven't gone to Rock and Oil Naturals on Instagram, go check her out. I told you, she she's going places. And she thinks she's been around for a while. She's not new. But she's, I guarantee you, she's, she's gaining popularity as we speak because her, her stuff is just, it's awesome. And those bubbles, they're just getting thicker and creamier. They're awesome. Let's check them out. Oh, y'all can even see. That looks like whipped cream. I mean, these are just... I don't know if my focus is even working. These are just... Oh, these are the luxurious ones. They're not even like bubbles as much as they are whipped cream. I mean, I can't really, I don't know that I can describe it any better than that. It's gorgeous. Why is my focus not working? I think my light in here is just really crappy right now, and I don't know why it's not any different than my usual nighttime lighting. Alright, so I'm going to hop in the shower. I cannot wait to get in this bath. I can't wait. And then I'll let you guys know how awesome it was when I get out. Okay, guys, so I'm done with my Spellbound Bath Bomb from Rock and Oil. And let me show you what I have here. Okay, so there were some little flecks, I guess you would call them, of pigment that didn't dissolve 100%. And so what those did, and they're in the bottom of the tub, you can see them. I'm going to show you what happened when I went to go um, kind of wipe them down around the sides. They smeared. That's, that's what they did. That's what these are. 
So, um, and so they were red and they were yellow. So that's what that is on the side. And also you can see right down there is some blue glitter. So there was blue glitter and also iridescent glitter in the bath bomb. And I don't have a lot of it on my skin. Um, and also I think the water was really shimmery, but I did have the lights down when I was taking this bath. So I can't really speak to how much shimmer was actually in the water because I just couldn't really see it very well. Um, the moisture level, it was medium. I can't say that it was like extremely moisturizing, but the watercolor was just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can also tell you that I did try and wipe down um, some of those yellow parts and I actually have wiped down a little bit more in my tub and that color, that pigment, it does just wipe off with a washcloth. So a dry washcloth where there is a little bit of um, texture or friction. So if you have um, a, not ceramic, what am I thinking of? A fiberglass tub, I have a fiberglass tub. That shouldn't be a problem at all. I can't really say if you have a porcelain or ceramic tub what that will do. But um, I don't really think it's a big deal at all. You're going to have just a little bit of glitter. You might have a little bit of that pigment that doesn't dissolve. But I would still definitely repurchase this bath bomb. I really did like everything about it. There is just a little bit of cleanup involved, which it really isn't that big of a deal. I just, I really don't think so. But I do have to show you guys what I found as a result. So anyway, definitely go check out Rock and Oil. I think they have great bath bombs. I really, really do. So um, I will have all the links listed down below and I appreciate you guys watching like I always tell you and I will see you back here next time for the next demo. Good night guys. Bye bye.